hello guys welcome to um youtube engineering channel um today we'll be talking about how to repair your electric heater or electric kettle at home so um i was called that this electric kettle heater was bad it's not coming on so i had to test it as you can see i'm testing it to see what's wrong and truly it was not coming on so i'm going to show you how i did it um, i'm going to open it so just follow me subscribe um so the most important thing will be needed is a multimeter we'll be needing this multimeter um and also we'll be needing a screwdriver yes so these are the basic things which we will need so um the first thing we are going to do now is to test the continuity of the base of the heater the continuity from the sockets to the yeah from the plug i mean we are going to test the continuity of the plug and to the terminal switch it connects to the um kettle so i've put the um the knob i turned the knob to the continuity and i'm going to test the continuity Um, so as you can see, um, the the base of the heater um, is working fine. It's okay, so we have no issue with that. So now we are going to um, check the kettle itself. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to open the kettle. I'm going to open the kettle with the screwdriver. So I'm beginning by unscrewing the base of of the electric jog or is it kettle or is it heater whichever one you want to call it i've done a video previously on how to use the multimeter how to use the multimeter to test the continuity of um of a component the continuity of a circuit so you can check my last video also you, um, how to use the multimeter to measure voltage resistance current and all that it's on one of my videos i've done before so with this you should be able to um, repair your kettle or jog at home and also test for some other um, things like that um, another thing you should take note is how I'm opening the care tool how I'm losing the um, base the cover and others other parts because it is like the same thing in almost all um, electric jog like this this is the same for almost all of them. In fact, 90% of them are, are, are assembled the same way. So this is just a way to disassemble them. So if you can get this right, you'll be able to do any other um, kettle. while watching please i want you to subscribe and also put on the notification button because i'll be dropping more and more of this kind of video so please 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 subscribe subscribe to this channel please and thank you god bless you Um, so I've finished loosening the the screws under the base of the um, under the heater. 
so what i'm going to do first right now is to inspect it physically to see if there is any physical um damage or there is any loosened knot or anything so that's what i'm going to be doing first anytime you want to um repair any equipment or device the first thing to do is to look at it observe it to see if there is any abnormality anywhere so that's what i'm doing right now to see if there is anything um as you can see i just found out that one of the terminals is not properly connected um so let me connect it very well this could be from the uh, manufacturer maybe when coupling it they didn't couple this very well so that's why even it stops eventually so I'm, I'm going to test it now from the terminal <coughs> coming from the plug and socket um, to the terminal that is connected to the heater so as you can see there is continuity so i'm now testing the other terminal so now i've put it i've connected it now very tightly so it won't be able to come out this way it won't be able to come out easily maybe in case if it falls down maybe the reason why it came out the other time it's disconnected the other time the other time was because maybe the kettle fell down or something like that and because it was not properly connected so the terminal just came off but now i'm going to put it and connect it properly and tighten it so that it won't come off easily in, in case if it falls down or anything of sorts um i disconnected it again to um to show you that once it is disconnected there will be no continuity but if i connect it back you will see that there is um continuity as you can see so now it's now okay it's now properly connected so um i will show you how how um, the circuits of this electric kettle goes so um, from that point where I'm touching now is connected to the K tool um, to one part of the heater to one terminal of the heater so the other round shape is connected to that part and it goes up to the switch then from the switch then it comes down then connected to the heater Um, so now I'm going to um, test with multimeter. Um, see, as you can see, I'm testing this terminal with the multimeter, but you can't hear a beep sound. That is because from the switch is switched off. Now I've put it on. Now that I've put it on, let me test again. You will see that it's making a beep sound to show that there is continuity. When I switch it off and test again, you will see that there is no continuity because I have switched off from the so from the um, switch as you can see so from the live of the um, terminal from the live terminal it goes to the heater first and um, to the switch first then from the switch then it comes down to the heater as you can see so the switch up there will just make or break the line now that i've checked that everything is all right i'm going to couple the kettle back Now that I've coupled it, 
so what i'm going to do next is testing it so i've put in some water into the um, electric jug kettle so i'm going to plug it and see if it's going to come on this time around so there's water in it now let me plug it in so it's now switched on as you can see let me switch it on properly mm, as you can see it's now switched on off on off so this brings us to the end of the video so please um subscribe and turn on the notification button for more videos <clears throat> thank you